Hey there, uh, wait, 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 where are you looking? Kitty, run away, I'm making a YouTube video. Go, go away, shoot. Mm, I don't like kitties because they always bite me. Last time I had to take three injections for it. And th that was not good. So, Nahida, what do you, what do you, what do you want to do with her? Because she does a lot of things, if you don't know. And a lot of things starts with something very little. So, I want to take you somewhere on this uh, Tewat, Tewat, Tewat map. This is the domain. Okay, remember this place. This artifact set is the artifact that you will be using on your Nahida. And the DPS that you will generally go and use with Nahida. As you can see, I'm actually using that. Okay, four piece of Gilded Dreams. The reason why I chose this domain for you especially is because I want to show you what actually goes and happens when you go and use a Dendro character with Electro character. Look at the damage we're doing 9,300 now. If I go and use Nahira's E skill for the same thing, I'm doing 19,000 or something like that. You know, that that's what Nahira's E skill... No, 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 let me stay alive. No, don't you kill me. That's exactly what Nahira's E skill goes and do, or at least applying danger to the enemy goes and do. Oh, no, 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 I did not want her to kill them. I need you to stay alive. You are full of energy. I can dodge you, you dumbass. Like, what are you trying to do? You got tired after that? When you go and do... Elemental burst of Nahida. You apply this and you go and do this. Uh, as you can see, I should be able to do somewhere over. Yeah, we did like 29,000 damage from Yaimiko's burst. Okay, like uh, E skill, E skill, E skill. That's a lot of damage if you ask me. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Shield, shield, shield. Okay, okay. That is only that is only possible because of Nahida. You guys are there. Oh, ow, ow, ow. You guys are hurting me. That's exactly what Nahida goes and do for your Electro DPS. She does the same thing for danger dps i, I don't think that i actually have to show you that because if i do that then the video will be really long she goes she goes and do same thing for someone like tainari because she does one very particular thing when you go and do her burst okay i actually got to show you that uh, my bad my bad i'll just go inside the stove bean. you know what instead of official for this part i'll add someone like cookie shinobu because uh, that's gonna make my life much more easier wait for my signal okay thank you what i'm gonna do is like i'm gonna take her artifacts away again she's also using four piece gilded dream i did showed you what her e skill goes and do it's called tri karma purification when you hit the enemy with her e skill and you go and trigger something like a reaction you do like a decent amount of damage to the characters. You know, the Dendro damage, as you can see, we're hitting for how much again? Uh, 28,000. That's happening. That's Nahida's personal damage, all right? And it's kind of fantastic, to be honest. No, 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 don't kill me, please. Let's talk about her burst. Right now, my Nahida has just over 1,000 elemental mastery. Normally, she has 900, but because of the domain, we're getting some buffs. Now, when I go and do her burst... By the way, look at Elemental Mastery of my Yaimiko. She has 2-9. And when I will bring her on the field... Let, guys, let me just do that. Okay, when I'll bring her on the field, she gets a lot of Elemental Mastery buff from Nahira's Elemental Mastery because Nahira did her burst. Okay, now the same thing, same thing will go and happen if... You know what? I'll, I'll just show it to you. Go away. Please, please go away. I'm making a YouTube video. Good boys. Good boy. I'm, I'm going to stay over here. Don't, don't, please don't see me. Yeah, they didn't saw me and I'm going to be like, okay, in the corner. I will give Elemental Mastery Artifact to Cookie Shinobu this time to show you what her burst also goes into. So she has like over 8,000 Elemental Mastery. That when I go and do Nahida's burst again, right? My Cookie Shinobu, who has the most Elemental Mastery. By the way, the character can buff themselves with Nahida's buff. Okay, like my Cookie Shinobu had a thousand Elemental Mastery. She buffed herself. If you have like a thousand Elemental Mastery on any character in your team, the on-field character will get 25% of it. If I, if I go and bring them on the field, they get a lot of Elemental Mastery from Cookie Shinobu. This time from Cookie Shinobu because Nahira has less Elemental Mastery. And I think like this is what makes her really, 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 really strong. By the way, there's one more thing about Nahira that I want you to know. I'm sorry, kid. Like, I know you're mad or something like that. Good. What type of artifact that you want to have on her? Now, there are two ways of building Nahida and which one does more damage. You know what? I'll just go and show that to you. 
Hmm, before I show you what goes and do more damage, what I also want to show you is that when you go and let's talk about this passive talent, all right? Because I think if you understand this, it's going to help you a lot. All right, I got her on full elemental mastery pieces, all right? So this is what my stats looks like with full elemental mastery Nahida. If you don't know what 900 elemental mastery does for Nahida and you look at this particular talent, but this tells you that for every 100 elemental mastery on Nahida after 200, it means like 200 plus 100 elemental mastery on Nahida will give you 3% crit rate and 10% crit damage bonus. Okay, you will not see that over here. That means for my 900 elemental mastery that I have on my Nahida, I am getting 21% crit rate and 70% crit damage. That means like I have 60% crit rate and 200% crit damage from just having this much elemental mastery on my Nahida. And I think that is fantastic. It helps a lot. Nahida is going to do 28,000, 29,000. Yeah, 29,000 just like that. That was a fantastic damage done by a three star weapon and full EM Nahida. Three star weapon that anybody can go and have. Okay. I don't know, no, no, don't hit me with. <laughs> I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I actually kind of. Never mind. Like, you know what? Dang it. I'm an idiot. I, I just want to test it out for myself because Dendro damage bonus on her with crit damage headpiece. All right, so we have like 600 elemental mastery means I'm getting 12% crit rate and 40% crit damage on my Nahida. And just, I just want to see this, okay? Don't, don't you dare freaking complain to me, okay? <laughs> Oh man, like, oh man. I don't want to do this, but I, I just kind of just got curious, okay? Thank you so much for taking your time out of your life to help me out, okay? Dang it. Come on. Okay, we do less damage, okay? No, no, no. Yeah. We do less damage with Dendro, Dendro and crit damage artifacts. Like, it's much, much, much better to go and have, just have elemental mastery on your Nahida, okay? Now, I'll, I'll switch to Visit because that weapon is actually kind of broken. It's a really, really, really insane weapon on Nahida. If possible, like, I would like to hope that I can get all the all three of these and, and I can show you how it all goes and works. Veggie, Veggie boy. Thank you very much for your time. Nahida, Isco. Let's see which one do we got this time. Oh, so we got attack buff, okay? Now attack buff out of all three buff does the least damage. 29,800. Let's see which one do I got. This time I got elemental damage buff, so it just buffs all the elemental damage, but we only care about dendro damage buff. And we're probably gonna do slightly higher damage than the other one. So we're gonna hit like, come on crit bro, just crit once. This game crit. 36,900, all right? That, that's the number. The thing is like the buff doesn't really last very long. Ouch. <laughs> Let's leave. Now, I hope this time I get EM buff because if I can get that, that'll be fantastic. This time the buff is again attack. So we don't need attack buff. So we got again attack buff. Okay, I'm not going to show you that. Just fuck it. <laughs> Just know that the EM buff makes your Nahida do the most damage when you have Vitsit on her, okay? But the buff only lasts for 10 seconds. Okay, so it's, it's not that big of a deal. But when you're fighting like lots of enemies in front of you, let's just say five enemies, and then you proc her EM buff and you hit all of them for 40k. And that is just absolutely insane. But most of the time when you're playing with an Electro main DPS, you will not have that. You will rather have Elemental Mastery artifacts with lots of crit rate and crit damage. The downside of using Elemental Mastery on your Nahida is that you need pretty decent amount of crit rate on your artifacts. Um, you need crit rate on your flower, you need crit rate on your feather, you need crit rate on your sands, that is like almost 10%. You need crit rate on your, like, at the in the end, with having all the artifacts with elemental mastery you need 30 to 40 percent crit rate or you need more okay 30 is the least i'll say okay you need, if you have 40 good if you have 50 bro you're a freaking this one is better than this one because this one does not provide you any damage bonus and this one provides you with a, a lot of damage bonus and i think that's fantastic so i think now i can show you a couple of spiral abyss runs the first type of team that you are going to go and have with nagira is aggravate team baiju is also a great example in place of nahira but what nahira has is something that baiju will not have when you go and make a team with nahira first of all you can have zhongli all characters do more damage in place of zhongli you can also go and have bennett and yeah make sure that you're using Fischl in this stuff Fischl with nahira is absolutely insane instead of yaimiko you can also use raiden shogun also you can go and decide to have someone like sino which i don't have 
But I would not get Sino until I have someone like Alhatham or someone like Nivalet. Brian Shogun is a must to have character in Genshin Impact and I don't see a point of like why you don't want to have her over Sino. Okay, so you can skip Sino, get have Ryan Shogun. Yaimiko is not bad either. I'm gonna increase max HP because I don't want to buff the damage. All right. Come on, bro. Stand at a fucking place. He just ran off. Yeah, do that. Just do that. Okay. Thank you very much. Burst, 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 burst. Thank you very much. If these guys stay at a place, like it's so easy to kill them with Ryan Shogun. Like it's just crazy, but they just decided not to be with each other. Come on. Die already, bro. Die already. Nice burst. Come on. I know what they're gonna do. Bennett's. No, 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 no. Yeah, these guys are kind of frustrating, to be honest. Like, it's really hard to deal with them. Sometimes you just get killed and you cannot change characters in time. I'll say Yaimiko is also an excellent character for something like this in, in place of Ryan Shogun. But mostly, Ryan Shogun is uh, the only Electro character that I'll recommend you to get. Yaimiko is a personal choice. If you like her, by all means, get her. We still have like full limiter mastery on my Nahida. I'm gonna give her crit artifacts. Now the teams that you want to go and build with Nahida when you have crit artifacts are... You, I, I know you have heard of Hyper Blooms. What they do this time? Oh yeah, nothing. Normally Hyper Bloom by itself is not that strong. What happened is like when you go and make a Hyper Bloom teams, the Kuki Shinobu with double Hydro. Remember, Yelan and Shinkcho also does a lot of damage. There are other variation of Hyper Bloom teams where you have someone like Alhatham. Alhatham, Kuki Shinobu, you're gonna have Nahida versus Nahida, 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 Nahida. And you're gonna have Shing Cho or Yelan, like either one of those two characters. All right, attack, max HP, because let's just keep everybody alive. First, Shing Cho's. Now this team, in this team, like you want to keep most of the time Kuki Shinobu on the field and she's gonna trigger Hyper Bloom, that's gonna do a lot of damage. And at the same time, your Yelan is also doing a lot of damage. Your Shing Cho is also doing a lot of damage. And that is your Hyper Bloom team. Uh, wait a second. I don't want to die this time. No, 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 <laughs> oh, no. These guys just hit you really hard for a small period of time. And yeah, that's just frustrating. You just had to hit them with Electro for a couple of time and you're going to be okay after that. Yeah, it, it took rather long in my opinion. You would finish this domain in one minute with this very particular team. Come on, man. Yeah, everybody hold hands, please. When these enemies don't don't run away. Oh, please, please, please don't die. Don't you dare die. Come on, nice. We're doing great. Almost like a minute. Love this team. If you're looking for a single target damage team. Oh yeah, it was fantastic. But Hu Tao makes stronger team. Don't you worry. Hu Tao's teams are still stronger than this. <laughs> that was the one reason that I never generally used Hyper Bloom teams in Genshin Impact. You guys can use it. Uh, very low investment overall. Now about Burgeon. Okay, Burgeon is very different from this. I don't think that you actually have to do that, but I do want to show you. This is like a Burgeon team setup. All right, we got Toma, we got Chingcho, we got Nahida. Three of these characters. Now the fourth character can you do want to have someone like Healer. I will talk about the problem with Kokomi. I have used this in the past, but I have learned a lot of things in comparison to past. I just kind of want to show you that. What happens is, ah, uh, come on, bro. Yeah, nice. What happens is that you don't just you don't create a lot of burgeon cores to do a lot of burgeon damage when there are not a lot of enemies, which sucks in general. As long as like you have Yao Yao for this very particular team, you're not going to face any issues. So if you want to go and use Toma Burgeon team, make sure you at least have his constellation four and then you go and build this team and uh, it, it, it'll do pretty, pretty decent damage in multi target situation. Yao Yao's E skill. Uh, Yaya is going to trigger lo trigger a lot more version. Uh, Dendro, whatever you want to call it. Come on, particles, please. Oh, yeah. Why are you guys with each other? This this is so freaking good. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. <laughs> we can do a lot of damage, you know. <laughs> ouch, ouch, ouch. Don't, don't, please, please nobody die. Please nobody die. Please nobody die. <laughs> Xing no, 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 no. Please nobody die. Please don't die. Please. I, c I couldn't change the characters. Okay, this really sucks. By the way, you understand that Burgeon teams are not particularly as strong as Hyper Bloom teams in single or let's just say one or two target situations. Kuki Shinobu's existence has made Hyper Bloom 
very simple and very easy because she only have to do her e skill to do the most damage and you don't even have to level this up i level this up so that she can heal more okay and she's a healer and she trigger does so much damage as a hyper bloom uh, on field carry or something like that so that's why virgin is not in the best place in genshin impact now super bloom teams now this is where things actually get interesting oh you're calling for me yeah, this is an exclusive Dendro reaction team, and it's a really fantastic team, in my opinion. Bye, Shu. I'll treat your wounds. This is the guy that I have used for a very long time in this team, and I kind of like it. And the way you actually go and build your Kokomi for this very particular team is like you give her an elemental mastery weapon, artifacts, elemental mastery artifacts. You don't need anything else. We got 8,018 elemental mastery on Arcus, right? Let me just see if I have artifacts on her. Do I have artifacts? Oh, yeah, she got 61,000. Oh, no, 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 don't kill me, please. Burst. <laughs> e skill, thank you very much. Don't you two run away. Now, the problem is that you need you need to make sure that enemies are with each other to do a lot of damage. If they go really far away, and if there's only just one enemy on the field, this team would suck, right? This team would suck if there's only one enemy in front of you. But if that's not the case... You can do a lot of damage and I forgot to do Nahida's E skill. I mean burst. But I as you can see we're doing so much damage that it literally does not matter. Yeah. Oh wow. Like I just finished this domain in just one less than a minute. <laughs> the thing is like the enemies were with each other and only because of that we were able to do this. Man, that was fast. Less than a minute, that is fantastic. And this boss is gonna take like what? A minute and 20 seconds. So this team is fantastic, but the problem is it got a massive upgrade. Uh, if you don't know, you can actually remove your Kokomi, okay? And add new Valette in this team and he will make your teams do more damage. And because we already have Baiju who's healing new Valette, you don't actually have to go and have any healers. So instead of Kokomi, I will highly recommend new Valette. The only reason this run was so successful was because the enemies were close to each other. If they were even a little bit further apart from each other, we wouldn't have done so much damage so yeah pay attention to that when there are lots of enemies you will kill all the enemies in mere seconds you're gonna be like how the fuck did they just die so easily that's how good this team actually is maybe i'll go and make some follow-up videos exclusive for something like hyper bloom exclusive for something like version maybe some improvements to hyper bloom version etc and etc right this was all the most basic video that i can go and make for something like this thank you very much for watching